Like Just To Eat, Eat. Hi guys, Mike here, first episode of Like Just To Eat. Um, yeah, I've officially lonely enough to start making some internet videos. Fruit that are shaped like babies. We're gonna sort of come to understand this a bit better over the course of the next couple of minutes. Um, just to give a bit of perspective, this is some kind of a pear, I think, I'm not entirely sure. Um, it's a regular pear here, regular Chinese pear. Yeah, we'll delve a little bit deeper into what the situation is here. So the situation with all fruit here is, um, in, in China, you, you have to wash it. So, um, so this is some, some hot water that I've got here. I've boiled it up so it's nice and, nice and clean. I'll just roll it around now. Okay. And we'll just wipe that off. They're quite delicious. You have to take a sticker off, even in China. And we'll just wipe that off. And we'll just wipe that off. It's, you know, it's crispy, but it's definitely ripe enough to eat. So. I'll take a bite. And we'll... Crispy. But it's okay. Still delicious, refreshing. Halfway it's between refreshing a fruit. regular pear and some kind really of really enjoying that actually. Yeah. We'd call them nasty pears. Pear. This is a slightly and different breed. That's probably enough of that one just to sort of give an idea of you know the normal pear experience here. So we'll move on to um to this little fella here. This is as I say, perhaps a pear. I'm still not entirely sure on that one. That's what I've been told though. Because yeah. I may have lied, it may be a Buddha or a baby, I'm not sure. I imagine if I could read what this hair says. That would probably give it away. So I'll just give this guy a wash down here. Let's take off this bit. All right, let's get down to business. That's definitely not a fruit. It tastes exactly like a cucumber. I think maybe it's just a cucumber. Just an idea of what the inside look like here. Definitely not a pear at all. There's a brown spot on the back here that I'm not too keen on. I bought this probably a, a week and a half ago. It's just been sitting in the fridge since then, so... The quality of the produce has definitely dropped a little bit. That's okay, I'll keep going. I'm still going, as I get down into the, um, the lower reaches here, it's sweetening up, it's starting to taste a bit more like a fruit, so I'm not sure. It, it might be a pear after all, or some kind of a savoury cousin of a pear. I'm just going to whip off the top here and just give a slice down the middle so we can get sort of a, a proper kind of a cross section on this. Um, okay, well, so that's what we're working with there. I hadn't, I hadn't expected that, but I suppose when you see it like this, I mean, it does kind of look, look a bit more like a cucumber, but in having said that, I suppose the shape is also reminiscent of a pear, so <laughs> work that one out some of this, this inside stuff here. That's thrown me off completely. That tastes like melon. I'm not sure what to think about that, to be honest. Mmm. It's a watermelon, it's a cucumber, some other kind of melon, it's a pear. I'll tell you what it is. It's probably none of those things. I mean, it's got its own name. I'll be honest, it's not very nice. I don't enjoy the taste or the texture of this very much. Fucking brown boot. 